Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to have a look at showing you how to do um, basically a cheat with alpha alpha mapping or opacity maps where you can create uh, simple things like background um, trees and things like that to save you some polygons and save you some time. Okay, so all of us have made um, trees and things before uh, and some of you that have tried to model trees yourself probably found out that it's quite difficult. Now, uh, we do have foliage trees available but you will also notice these trees um, are pretty heavy sometimes when you render some of them take ages to render Oops, there we go uh, and some of them are a bit better on the rendering system but not too bad okay so you've got trees available but what if you're only putting trees in your environment or you've got things like little bushes or grass or things like that and you don't want all the detail okay but you want a photo realistic looking item well we can use a real texture and we're going to do something called alpha mapping okay alpha and opacity maps so I've got these textures here Alright, let's open up, oh, not in fireworks, here we go. Um, we're going to open up this texture and I'm just going to show you, <laughs> as it loads, I, I'm just going to show you, this is basically the outline. So I've got this PNG here, and basically what PNG does is it saves the transparency. So I've got, <laughs> you can't see, I've got the transparency behind, basically where a JPEG will save the white as a white colour, the PNG will save this background as transparent, as invisible. Basically, it doesn't store the information. We don't need it, so it saves an extra map, which is the transparency map. Okay, let's cut all that down. Nicely done, Giles. Uh, so we've got this texture here. Uh, also, we have the branches. So I've got basically this alpha map. Now, the reason this is black and white is basically telling the computer anything that is black, I want you to ignore. Anything that is white, I want you to keep. So you could effectively have a JPEG or something like that, and you would just say anything in black, the computer knows if it's on the opacity map, don't render this, you don't want it to exist. Anything that's in white or pure white, I know that I want to render. So that matches up with that. Now that's just something you can simply make in Photoshop using masks or alpha maps or however you wish to do it. Now how do we apply that in 3ds Max most importantly? So let's make ourselves a plane. Okay, now if you wanted to uh, sort of get the dimensions of the plane to make sure you've got it correct you could now I've made a giant plane half the size of my scene but just for now that'd be fine it's a whopping measurement but I'm just gonna go for it anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to a blank texture under diffuse I'm gonna click on the num box I'm gonna choose a bitmap and the first texture I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna choose that one with the texture on it okay the branch just got the color on it all right I'm happy with all the settings so I'm gonna come back up now if you have a look at that texture now got my texture but I've also got the background coming with it all right so if I'm to apply that texture I'll click on that one show it in the scene yes I've got the texture but 3ds max will not be able to render the PNG as transparent because I haven't given it a transparency yet. I haven't given it the opacity map it doesn't know how to read the PNG as transparent so I need to tell it I need to give it that information and the way I do that is I come down to maps and I click on the plus and under opacity there's a slot here an empty slot okay I'm going to click on none, I'm going to choose bitmap again, but this time I'm going to choose my opacity map that I've saved. Okay, and again this texture is available on CG Textures. Right, and you can see instantly, I can show you what it looks like in there, it has cut out everything that was black, it didn't need that anymore, it's just kept what was white. So I've got myself a cut out branch, okay, because it doesn't want to render. <laughs> I've got myself a cut out branch, but you can see there's no background on it. I've got this transparency map behind me. Famous last words. I've got a fa um, famous thing. Work. Right. So basically, you can see my texture. There you go. Two sided. I need to make it two sided because I was facing the wrong side of the plane. A plane is uh, doesn't have two dimensions, but one side. Basically, if I'd looked at it from that side, it would have rendered. Looking at it from that side, it didn't. So I've just ticked two sides and turned it on so I can see from both sides. I'm solving problems as they come across as I'm in a bit of a rush as I always am with these tutorials but I want to uh, show you it rather than prepping it before I want to show you it live so hopefully I'll come across the same problems as you do because I'm doing it on the fly and it's been a while so there you go okay that looks pretty cool now what if I'm making that part of my map now a bit of a cheat they've used in the films for years not so much with modern games and films so much because polycount uh, you don't have quite the same regulations you used to have but what they do and what we can do is we can rotate this now if this was a tree that was even in all angles this would work better okay because this is a wonky branch which maybe isn't going to look quite as good I'm going to rotate I'm going to turn on my fixed rotation tool I'm going to hold shift and rotate 90 degrees 
Now, if this was a picture of a tree or something like that that was even, you can see from that angle, it would look just clean like a, a three-dimensional branch a bit more. Now, because mine's at a wonky angle, you can see two branches, doesn't look quite as good, but you start to get sort of a three-dimensional shape. And like I say, if that had been uh, a tree, so this is one from my last tutorial, but if I go to tree opacity map, uh, there you go. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for, right? So this sort of thing, if I put that texture on, I put that opacity map on, and then I could just rotate it, duplicate the plane. So in top view, you can see it's like a cross. And if we really want to go into detail from all angles, I could then make one at 45 degrees, and another 45 degrees, and so on and so forth. So whichever angle I looked at that, um, it would give me a nice looking uh, photorealistic tree. All right, when I get up close to it, it's going to look like planes, and you're going to see there's no physical geometry to it. And it might not, obviously, in the game engine, the collision boxes and things like that, it wouldn't work quite as well. But this is just for scenery in the background, just to save you a bit of render time and save you some polygons, because if we have a look at that, we've got 10 polys, okay? Uh, right, so you sort of understand, you get the idea about that, yeah? So that is how you use opacity maps uh, to cheat with some of these textures and put photorealistic things into your scene by keeping the poly count really, really low. Now, like I say, if that's up close, then people are going to see that that's clearly a box, but in the distance, in the background, in my environment, okay, they're all going to work, yeah? Right, hope that's been helpful. As I always say, if you need any extra help or I can help with any questions or anything like that, or there's any tutorials in particular you'd like me to look into doing, please just drop me an email at the address below or leave a comment uh, and I'll try and help you out. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.